This drink, I like it. Another. Hey guys, I'm Ian. I'm super happy to be with you guys again as we go through What is Your True Identity by Kevin Barnett. Now, you guys can probably guess, today we'll be talking about Thor and where your worthiness comes from. This has kind of been the shot. Okay, I'll move it later. Um, yeah. So guys, in this chapter we talk a little bit about Thor and his journey. And how as he goes through different situations, his worthiness is not lost through the situations he goes through. Now in our lives, we may have situations similar to Thor and situations different from Thor. Some of us have lost family. Our fathers or our mothers, right? our brothers, our friends. Uh, some of us have lost those things close to us. right? Throughout the story of Thor, we see several things that he begins to denote as a root of his worthiness. And all these things are slowly stripped down through the Dark World, Ragnarok, uh, uh, Infinity War and Endgame, as Thor is slowly broken down into who he's actually meant to be, to learn what true worthiness is. See, he loses his mother in the Dark World, he loses his father in Ragnarok, his, and his people, his hair, his hammer. In Infinity War, he loses his friend, he loses his brother, and he ultimately loses the fate of the world, and the universe. In Endgame, he loses his temper, and he loses his last aspects of pride, and he loses the physical capability of his body, uh, becoming Bro Thor, Fat Thor. And I think these are a lot of similar things that we can tie our worthiness into, into our family, into our culture, right? Into how our hair looks, how we're built physically. We can tie ourselves into the relationships that we have, the status that we have, but all those worthiness will fail you, will leave you, right? Even if you're the physically strongest person in the world, there will still be, if two or three or four or five people come together, they will take you down. Even if you have the highest title in the world, what does it mean to someone who doesn't care who you are? Sad truth is sometimes we lose our families. Sometimes we lose those things that we use to identify ourselves. But those don't change our worthiness because our worthiness comes from God. Not that I'm strong enough to do everything my own strength. But to the God who lived a perfect life, who was willing to give up everything, including his own life, so that someone like me could be made worthy in the kingdom of God, so that I would not die a sinner, but could live forward into the life Christ has for me. That in true worthiness, I may be with him. So even if I lose the people I love, even if I lose my status, even if I lose my title, even if I lose everything that I hold on to and hold dear, still, if I have God, I am truly worthy. See, I love this because... Worldly worthiness is so fading, right? Thor lives for 15,000 years in prosperity and privilege, and in three years, four years, five years, however long, between Dark World and Endgame, uh, I believe that it's that's an eight-year period in the MCU, but someone can probably correct me if I'm wrong. Thor goes from being 
about to be elected king of the most powerful nation in the nine realms to being humbled, beaten, broken. And yet in the midst of that, at his lowest point, when he's fallen into his vices, when he's fallen away from what it means to be a hero, yet when he comes back and seeks again to help people, he's still worthy. No matter how much we fail, no matter how much we fall short, through God who strengthens us, we are made worthy. No matter the situations we've been through. So I ask you today, are you living a life that honors the fact that you are made great, you are made mighty, and you are made worthy to inherit the kingdom of God, to be an heir to the God of gods, to be an heir to the King of kings, to the Lord of lords, to be worthy of the honor and to fight for those who do not know how worthy they are yet. Again, we're reading through Kevin Barnett's book, What is Your True Identity? So we can learn our true identity of worthiness in God, and so many others, if you guys have not checked out our playlist, I highly suggest going back, hearing what me and Brent have said, um, out of Kevin Barnett's teachings, um, and out of what Christ has spurred upon the three of us heart. I want to thank you guys for joining us. If you guys have the time, like, comment, subscribe. I want to know, if you had the chance, would you choose Mjolnir or Stormbreaker? And why? So, absolutely appreciate you guys. Hope to see you guys soon. Have a wonderful week.